How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are out in the garage and we're gonna make some Midwest finesse worms or Ned Rig worms as I prefer to call them. And we're gonna do a nice laminate color today. It's gonna have a watermelon or green pumpkin color on one side and then a purple color on the other side. It's a little bit more difficult for me to pour, but we're gonna see what we come up with in another video after this one. You're gonna see me out on the lake fishing and catching some fish on the Ned Rig. I'll talk about how to fish the Ned Rig, stuff like that. So be sure to check into that one as well. That one will be pretty informative on the fishing side of things. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make these Ned Rig worms using our do it molds. So for today's video, we're gonna need two of our measuring cups and we're gonna need our Plastisol. We're gonna be using the regular formula of the do it soft baits Plastisol. The regular formula is a great blend for the Ned Rig worms that we're gonna be making today. So we uh, gotta shake this stuff up to get all the resins and everything all mixed up and in proper form to make these baits. So let me shake this up and we'll get our plastic measured out into our measuring cups. Okay, so our Plastisol is nice and mixed up. We're gonna measure out four ounces into each one of our measuring cups. So we got four ounces in this one and then we'll switch and get four ounces into this one because we need two different cups in order to get the two different colors that we're going to be using so we should be pretty close to our four ounce mark so a little bit high but we're close enough so we'll go with that and let's get these colors mixed so far plastic's looking pretty good we got a little bit of bubbles in there but they'll work themselves out as we go um, plastics looking pretty good I'm gonna take the temperature you still want to check the temperature even though you know you're gonna have to even though we know we're gonna have to heat these up over and over again to get these colors the way we want them but I just want to get an idea of where we're at temperature wise so I kind of know where my starting point is I'm pretty confident that even if I didn't take the temperature that I, these would get to the right temperature and it also looks to be the right consistency right now and yeah we're already almost up we're already above 300 so i know that this is going to be you know good enough heat especially by the time we add color in and heat it up and and all that and we're up to 323 right now so we'll take this out we know that we're going to be good to go color wise or heat wise and we're gonna start adding our color in now. And So the color that we're gonna be using today is the Do It Soft Baits Watermelon Green X2 Colorant. We're gonna add four drops of this in there to start off with. You know what, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go slower. I'm gonna add two drops to the four ounces of plastic that are in here and start with that and see what color we look like we have. So one thing I like to do when I haven't used my colors in a while is to shake them up. So we're gonna shake this up a little bit and get that nice and mixed in and then we're going to add two drops and then we'll mix it in and see what it looks like all right so i think that's good enough shaking up so we'll add our two drops of color in and see where we're at there's two i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to add more in but i just want to go slow and just really kind of see what this looks like and that's actually pretty close to what i'm going for especially once i add a little bit of black flake in there now that's going to be too see-through so we're going to add another color another drop of color in there we go Let's see what happens here okay yeah so that darkened it up a little bit it's a lot darker which is what i was hoping for Still nice and see-through, which is what I want too. A lot of times with laminates though, you want to go a little bit heavier on the color because it'll blend a little bit better, but I don't want these to be stark differences. I want them to be a little bit lighter shade so they kind of blend together. And I'm gonna do one more drop. So we're gonna go with that four drops, like I said in the beginning, but like I said, I wanted to go slow to make sure that I didn't over color everything. So I think after this fourth one, it's gonna be a little bit darker, but still see-through to where you're still gonna be able to see all those flakes blend in. So we're gonna add some black flake and we're also gonna add some purple flake into this as well. So I just popped this back, popped that green in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our black flake ready to go. Just wanted to heat it up just a little bit more so it'd get a little bit 
more you know, started to firm up so I wanted to get it a little bit more watery and we're just going to use a little bit of black flake I don't want to use too much just a little bit I'll darken it up a little bit but it also will have that black flake shine through a little bit once these baits are all ready to go okay so we got our plastic out here it's nice and green we're going to add basically like an eighth of a teaspoon here that's it eighth of a teaspoon I just want a little bit of black flake I don't want too much and that might have even been more than I really wanted but I don't think it's too much, so I think we're still gonna be good to go, but we're gonna mix that in. And then when we go with the purple, we're definitely gonna go a little bit heavier with it. Yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty good. I actually like that amount of black flake in there. That's looking pretty good. Hopefully you guys can see that good in the video. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. This is what I'm looking for. We're gonna pop that back in the microwave real quick and then we're gonna add our purple glitter to it. So there's our purple right there. We're gonna be using 0 0.008 hexagon purple. Um, I really like this color, it's real fine, so you don't need a lot of it. But we're gonna get this out of our microwave here. And we're gonna make sure we get all that black flake off of our measuring spoon, just like so. And then we're gonna get probably another eighth of a teaspoon it's a little bit over but that's close enough add that in there and we're going to stir that on in like so and we'll see what we end up with once it's all mixed in i think it's looking good so far but i think i might want a little bit more purple yeah that purple is not shining through enough so we're going to add some more purple so we definitely have at least a quarter quarter tablespoon or quarter teaspoon i'm sorry and we're gonna have a lot more purple in there this time and i think that's what we're definitely going for yeah that's better that that purple will shine through nicely once it's in the water and that sun's reflecting off of it yeah, you can see it in there. It might be hard on the camera, but I can definitely see that it's coming through there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this to the side because I think I like the way this turned out. We're gonna put this to the side and then we're gonna start and get our actual purple plastic ready to go. So we're gonna do the same thing with our purple plastic. We're gonna start with it being clear and then add our colorant into it as we go. And we're gonna add some purple flake to this color as well. So we're gonna pop this into the microwave and get it started up. Okay, so our, our plastic's been in there for a minute 30. And when you go to stir this new color in, you definitely need to make sure you're using something clean to stir with. You don't want anything with other plastic colors on there because then they'll bleed together and it's gonna mess up your final product because you, you wanna keep measurements of all this kind of stuff so that way you can recreate these things. Because as I'm going through this, I'm, I'm writing down the different, different amounts of plastic, different amounts of colorant, different amounts of flake, stuff like that, so that way I can recreate this later on. Okay, so we got our plastic up to temperature. We're gonna stir it up real quick, and then we're gonna slowly add our color into it, like we did with the green, but this time it's gonna be a purple color. So like with the last color, we're gonna shake it up. This color feels a little bit thinner. It's a different brand. Um, I had to buy some stuff from another um, for s another project that I was doing and um, I wanted to get some purple so I just bought some of this while I was on that website. Otherwise it would be the same uh, soft baits by Duo Mold and purple color. But since I was already making the order, I decided to pick up some of this. So we're gonna start off with two drops of purple and then we'll see how that goes. One, two, and we're gonna stir that in. Remember, this is only four ounces of plastic, so a little goes a long way. We might need to add some more purple in here, but like I said, I didn't wanna mess up this color. You can always add more color, but you can't take away. Yeah, that's way too thin. So we're gonna add another two drops to it, so we get to four. One, two. And that's definitely closer to what I'm going for. And then we're gonna also add purple flake to this. And I think it's gonna pop.
possibly brighten it up because that's a pretty bright purple that we got going. And it's pretty, pretty see-through. So we'll add another couple drops. That was actually three, so now we're at seven. That was more than I wanted, but it should be okay. Plastic starting to thicken up, but we'll have to just reheat it. And that's a better purple, yeah. That's closer to what I'm going for. So I'm still thinking that purple is just a little bit too light. So we're gonna add one more drop. So that's gonna give us a total of eight drops. Oh, that was actually three more drops that came out quicker than I wanted. Hopefully that doesn't ruin our color, but this has just been super thin. Actually, that might be good. This is a thinner color than the other ones that I've been using, so it's taken more drops. But actually, that, that looks pretty good. It's still nice and see-through. It's still gonna contrast that, that green pretty good. So actually, that might that might have worked. So we're at 10 drops right there of purple. So what we're gonna do now is add in some purple flake and we're gonna use that same 008 hexagon purple and we're gonna use an entire quarter teaspoon here drop that in like so and then we're gonna stir that on in I think this is gonna turn out really really good yeah, that's a really cool purple color. Maybe a little bit more flake than I was anticipating, but I think this is gonna end up looking pretty cool once we're all done with it. So these are our two colors that we're gonna be using to make our Ned Worms. That's our, we'll call it watermelon color, and that's our purple right there. We're gonna microwave the green color, the watermelon color, so that way we can get it to you know, soften back up and be more liquid. And then we'll pop this back in, the purple back in, in order to get them about the same temperature because you want the two colors to be about the same temperature when you shoot it in, into the mold. So my injectors weren't put together to do the laminate. So my plastic sat for a little while while I was putting this back together because I had them as single injectors because before doing this video, I was just pouring a single color which you don't need them put together with the top and everything like this. So I put my plastic back in for two minutes and I put them both in for two minutes so that way they would both get to temperature relatively the same temperature because it helps in pouring everything. And then we'll you know suck everything up with our injectors just like so. And then we'll put them back in to our Midwest finesse mold and hopefully have some pretty good looking baits. Okay, so I think our plastics are ready to go. So we're gonna get some of that plastic out of there. I'm gonna suck it up into our injectors. Go right into our mold. Felt like we got a good pour in there. And we're gonna top off our sprue. And then we just gotta wait for it to cool and see what we came up with. Pour the extras back in there. Okay, so now we're gonna see what we came up with. See if our worms turned out the way we wanted them to. But we'll see what we ended up with here. Yeah, that purple is definitely not right for what I was going for, but these did turn out pretty darn cool. I definitely think they would catch fish. Um, it's just a little bit more purple than I was going for. I definitely wanted more of that cinnamon look, but these definitely turned out pretty darn cool. I'll get a better picture of these and uh, show you guys those here shortly. Okay, so here is a better picture of these baits better little clip um, you can definitely see that purple and green contrast hopefully it's coming through on the video for you earlier if you guys 
want to get these from me, make sure to contact me, email me, matlinofishing at gmail.com, or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. So thanks again for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. You know, it's a pretty cool color. They contrast really well. I definitely think it would catch fish. But like I said in the video, if you want to purchase these baits from me, make sure to contact me on Instagram or Facebook or email me at mattlunafishing at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more content coming your way.